Hello, I'm Michael from eSlide, and today I'm going to walk you through our tips and tricks on how to add totals to a stacked bar chart based on real data. This is a typical stacked bar chart we see all the time here at eSlide, with the totals as floating text boxes typed outside of the chart. Created this way, you can see how messy this is. You have to line them up by hand, and they can easily become misaligned. Also, if you have to resize your chart, you have to manually realign all your titles. Sometimes, data is even typed wrong. This number here is clearly incorrect. There are a million reasons why floating labels outside of your chart is bad. So, let's get rid of these and create our totals inside the chart. Basically, what we are doing is adding a new data series to the chart. First, you want to right-click and open up your data sheet. Then, grab the handy little tool here, add a new column, and let's call it total. Now we're going to write a simple formula that will calculate our total for the stack. Click in the cell and then type equal sum open paren. Now go over here to the left and highlight the range of your data. Then type a close paren and hit enter. You now see we have a function that represents our total value. And the magic part is that Excel is smart enough to fill in the formula for the rest of the categories. Okay, exit out of the data sheet and you can see that we have added a new data series. Now we'll clean this up a little bit. First, let's add the total data labels to the series. Right click, add data labels. Select them and align them to inside base which puts them down here at the bottom. Now let's get rid of the fill and you can see we have total sitting on top of our stacked bar chart. Now you will notice we have all this extra space and that is because the vertical axis has automatically adjusted itself to the new data. So what we want to do now is manually set our axis. Here you can see it's set to auto. Typing values in the box sets it manually. Usually we start at zero and for our maximum value 14 looks like a good choice. Lastly, just to clean up a little more, let's remove totals from our legend because we don't need it here. Simply select it and hit delete. We now have total labels as part of the chart based on real data. You can move your chart around and you can resize as you please. And the best part yet, if you have to change your data, the labels will automatically update themselves. We hope this tip makes working in PowerPoint faster and easier for you. Feel free to share this with your colleagues that might find it helpful too. Thank you very much.